In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a cool Obama Hope poster effect using a free Photoshop action and a few simple techniques. I'm John, a graphic designer and co-founder of the Photoshop blog psddude.com and here's my tutorial for creating the Obama Hope poster effect in Photoshop. We will make use of a quad tone gradient effect and to make this tutorial a bit more fun, we will create a poster for a turkey that will hopefully convince you to eat more vegetables. So let's begin. To create this posterized effect, simply go to photoshopsupply.com and download the posterized Photoshop action for free. To do that, we'll just go and click on the download link. Then you'll have to install the action in Photoshop. Once you've done that, we will start creating our effect. We will start by opening a new image in a new PSD file. I used a PNG image without a background because uh, we will add the, our own background later on in this tutorial. So make sure you have the layer selected, then go to the actions and click on the posterize effect, then play the action. You'll have simply have to wait for the action to uh, create the poster effect. So this is the result of the action. Now we are going to create the poster by adding a few extra layers. Click on the original layer and then create a new layer by pressing Shift, Control and N. We will name this layer Background. Then press Shift and F5 to fill this uh, layer with a foreground color. Double click on the layer and add a gradient overlay like this. We will add a gradient overlay from black to white and then change the settings like this. Change the white color to a light gray that will become red because the action that we applied uses a quad tone gradient. So uh, this gray color will be converted to red. Then click on the black color and change it to a dark gray and this will become a blue color. Click OK and now adjust a bit the settings of the gradient. First, the angle of the gradient, just like this. Then uh, grab the gradient and move it around a bit. Let's make some adjustments like this and then click OK. Now, let's add a border. Let's click on the Levels Adjustment layer, then uh, create a new layer by clicking Ctrl, Shift and N and we'll call this border, then Shift F5 to fill the layer, then double click to open the layer style window, set the fill opacity to zero and add a stroke layer style of around 20 pixels inside and the color white. Then click OK. Now go to the levels layer and click on it and let's add a label for this uh, poster. We'll add this label in the lower part of the image. First, using the rectangle tool, we'll draw a rectangle like this. Then uh, rename this layer label. Now let's add the text and let's say eat more vegetables. For the text, you can use any color that you want. I will change the color by selecting the text and then uh, I will choose a dark gray which will be converted to blue by the gradient map we used. Let me center this text and move it over the label that we created. And we're almost there. Now, to create a vintage effect for this poster, I will use an old paper texture that uh, you can download for free from texturesforphotoshop.com. Check out the uh, description below for the link. I will create a new layer 
by clicking Ctrl Shift and N and we'll call this layer old paper. Now I have in my clipboard the old paper texture so I'll just Ctrl V for pasting the old paper texture. And now let's resize it a little bit to cover the entire image. We will set the blending mode to multiply and then lower the opacity to around 45%. And this will create a nice vintage effect for our poster. The posterized Photoshop action that we used from photoshopsupply.com uses a gradient map adjustment layer that you can change very easily by double clicking on the layer thumbnail and then playing around with the settings for the gradient colors. You can see that this is a, uses a quad tone gradient uh, effect and you can change the position of the colors and also the color tones if you want to change the colors of the quad tone gradient. Also, you can uh, play around with the settings like this, uh, but yeah, I think this is too much. But you can play around with the settings and see how this affects the final result. Our Photoshop poster effect looks great. So, did you enjoy this Photoshop tutorial? Are you planning to create your own poster using this Obama Hope poster effect in Photoshop? If you do, don't be shy and let me know how it turned out in a comment below. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to subscribe to the PSD Dude YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out our other video Photoshop tutorials.